We close at 6, and usually there's still a group of people out there sitting out there on that corner, and you wonder, you know, to yourself, what's going on. People crowding outside a church in the capital city. It's become such an issue. Police and city leaders are starting to get involved. First Presbyterian Church in downtown Little Rock now reaching out to the city, trying to get some help with loitering and crime concerns. Tyler Thomason joining us now with a look at how the church wants to help without being taken advantage of. Tyler. Bob and Ashley, good evening. The church always draws a crowd in the afternoon by offering free lunch. But as neighboring businesses tell me, they've noticed some of that crowd lingers after the lunch hour, prompting suspicion and concerns. Roaming the hallway. I do this every day. I check locks. Michael Spring keeps a close eye on the units at downtown Little Rock Storage. These are small ones here. But it's the space just around the corner. I've seen police over there regularly. That's getting all the attention. All day. A daily congregation can be seen lining the steps outside the First Presbyterian Church downtown. When our crew arrived for this story, police officers were there responding to a call. According to emails we obtained, a church staff member emailed a city director earlier this month calling the loitering out of hand. This is going to get rough, in my opinion. In the email, the staff member mentioned the church had a new pastor with plans to improve lighting and remove landscaping that enables questionable activity. An intersection where compassion meets concern. They have a bit of, of a conundrum, I think. In a space where many hope crime can be kept under lock and key. How about that? Now, we did reach out to the pastor at the church. We have not heard back yet, but there, was, there were plans, according to emails, for the church and city leaders to meet and discuss this issue more. Guys, back to you. 